so guys um welcome back to my channel and before we dive into the video the things i hated about pregnancy number four is one of them this i don't know if you guys know about it but it's actually freestyle libra so it's like if you have a diabetes in pregnancy which is gestational diabetes <clears throat> they tend to give you this so what's going to happen, you actually, instead of pricking your hands like before, you prick your fingers to get the blood tested and to know that your sugar level order. But now, technology has developed. So we have to use these. They, you put it on your arm or wherever you, you please, on your body part. And then put it, I'll show you guys how I do it. <clears throat> This is one of the things I hate dislike about pregnancy number four. Then, second is this thing. I have to literally massage myself every night and morning before I get off bed. And as you can see, the pillows on the bed, the amount of pillows on the bed. These are all the pillows that I literally have to sleep with. I've got the U pillow that I use to support me. But... I guarantee you it's not doing no good to be honest so I have to literally put like extra four pillows at the bottom and then another one down my shoulder <clears throat> to support me to sleep and then I have to use like two pillows here to sleep that's how I manage to sleep and number four this is my bed the head of my bed is like my best friend so I'm actually constantly holding this this is like my support network trust me without this one and if Le <coughs> if Leroy is not around this is what I use literally to support myself to stand up every day it's not funny and again I constantly have migraine constantly <coughs> So I constantly have migraine every day. I have to take paracetamol every single day. I have to be on paracetamol. Like, it's mad. Like, I take, like, about six different medication daily. And, which is not funny. But, trust me, that's the struggle I go through with baby number four. And the list goes on on and on and on. I can't eat any food that's not spicy. It has to be spicy and the my craving was just jollof rice any day anytime jollof rice that's my cravings and now before going to bed I'm on insulin as well which I have to use I'll show you guys so like this I've got two different pens this is for night and then the other one is for daytime. So this is daytime one I use. And this is nighttime. So I have to use. I use this three times a day. And then this once a day. Before I go to bed. So these are the things I hate. And this is literally like my medication. Plastic that I literally store my medication in. And I have to have like sugar. Like anything sugary. Like jelly belly babies. Which I put in there for emergency. If my sugar is low, I have to take it. So, these are the things I dislike about pregnancy number four. So, I'm just going to open it and then show you guys how I'm going to install it. I hate doing this, but I have no choice because... And once you put it on, it's like 14 days. So it lasts for 14 days. You can bath with it. You can do swimming with it. You can do anything with it. <clears throat> so it lasts for 14 days. So let's go.
so this is it it's two different things i'm gonna have to put it and then you align it together make sure you get these lines this line and then there's a little line on this one as well so they have to be on the same length for you to get what you're doing that's it i've clicked it on i've got it now <clears throat> so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna put it on my arm here and you guys can hear the sound as well Loud. I don't like it so painful like I dislike this it's not fun I don't wish you on my enemy it's not that bad it's not that bad but because like pregnancy number four has made my body so sensitive to every little thing so that's it I've got it I've got it on now so it's gonna last for 14 days and I'll take it off you can swim with it you can bath with it you can do anything so then there's a link on my phone that I link with it so like that's how I monitor my sugar level and when it's going low it'll let me know and when it's going high it'll let me know as well so I kind of like monitor it and then know what I'm doing so I just say I'll date you guys with my dramas that i'm facing with baby number four and everyone that know me know me i love being pregnant i love it i love the process i love everything but with this baby i'm tired as i'm recording i'm actually losing breath but i have to just let you guys know one of the things that i dislike so that's one of the things that I don't like about pregnancy number four. I don't like it and I don't wish it on anybody to go through what I'm going through. Like I barely have a good night's sleep because I get back pain. Like my joints are literally swollen and I can't sleep properly. So that's another thing for me. So yeah and i hope this helps somebody out there that doesn't know about gestational diabetes once you're pregnant like for me whenever i'm pregnant that's when i get it and once i deliver like about two weeks like that is literally gone so i'm praying that this one goes but like sometimes they say it can stay for a long time like you can have a diabetes for real but I pray, touch wood, <clears throat> that that's not going to be my case. Because I've always come out of it. But this is like my third time it's happening. But this is the worst one that I have to go through this. Medications are different. Like the level of this one is just too much. Like apparently baby is too big. And it's too much. So... That's just my story and I hope it helps somebody out there and I have to like monitor what I eat. I have to eat healthy, you know, but the only problem I have, I can't stay away from rice. That's my biggest challenge, rice and bread. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love my bread and rice and but apart from that, I'm doing all right. And thank you guys for staying with me and thank you for watching. I hope this video helps somebody out there that is going through something like mine or that does not know about gestational diabetes. When you're pregnant, you can get it and then it can go away, but sometimes it might stay as well. So I hope you help. Thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned and more videos coming. And thank you for supporting. God bless. And Please don't forget to share, like, subscribe and comment and let me know what you think about my challenges that I'm going through with this pregnancy. Thank you. Stay blessed. See you in my next video. Bye.